Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part 10 of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit, and we're going to talk about divide equals. We've been following along, very similar to what we've been up to recently. Let's have a quick uh, look at an example. And I've actually got a treat for you guys. Um, well, not that, but I got a bunch of synonyms for good here, so we're no longer going to be in good shape. We're going to be in one of those kinds of shapes. Anyway, if we run this, we're going to see that the result is 11, because that's essentially result being reassigned to be result divided by 5. Um, once we get that going, let's... And keeping with our last example, we saw that this isn't really that useful of a strategy. So let's say that our uh, salary, again, we're going to have bad news, is currently $55,000. And we have a terrible boss who is going to say, uh, I am going to divide your salary in half because you've been... I don't know, slacking off at work. Um, so we'll say salary divide equals divider. And our new salary is going to be, well, let's just keep this. It's essentially salary is equal to salary, oof, those pesky typos, divided by divider. Now when we run this, we're going to see that our new salary is woefully low. Well, not woefully low, just comparatively low, which is now $27,500, which is... Well, good if you've never made any money before, but it's not great if you were making 55. So let's come back here and do the divide equals challenge. We are going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters, a base and a divider, and returns the result of reassigning the base to be the base divided by the divider. Your function should reassign base to the result of dividing base by divider using the divide equals operator, then return base. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function. So we're going to copy our stub, paste it on in here. We're going to get our test case. That'll prove that our function either works in a, you know, one capacity or doesn't. Base divide equal divider. Then we'll return base. So if we run this, we should see eight. We do. And we're going to paste this in and run our test. And we are in beneficial shape. So, I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. Hope you enjoy watching these videos. Thank you very much for doing so, and we'll see you in the next one.